Hi, it's Christy. I want to talk to you today about finding your happy place. And I know we've heard that expression and stuff before, but I think it's really important to do as an exercise so that you can capture those emotions and feelings that you have and then tap into them at any time that you want. And what really brought this to light is my husband and I went for a hike last week and we hadn't been hiking in a while and it's fall and we stepped onto the trail and as soon as we heard the crunch of the leaves and the gravel beneath our feet and we saw the dappled sunlight on the trail, we, were, we both just went, oh, because it just felt so good and it re made us realize that that was a happy place for us and that we had kind of missed it. But it's one thing to do the things that make you happy, but it's also a really powerful relaxation and mindfulness exercise to tap into those feelings and those memories at other times. Because the brain is so powerful, it doesn't know the difference. It doesn't know if this is a memory or if this is something that you're conjuring up or what it is. And we use that a lot of times to our downfall by remembering negative things and feeling that cascade so of negative emotions so why not do the same thing for a positive so I wanted to share a few examples of my uh, happy places and my favorites and just talk a little bit about how to capture that feeling in a short exercise and then you can hopefully take a few moments at a later point in time and do the exercise on your own so when I was thinking about what are some places that really evoke a strong positive memory for me, one is definitely being outside, that's why I do a lot of my videos outside and, and near the water. Um, old libraries, that's one of, one of my crazy favorite places because there was a time when I was growing up, we moved in the middle of the summer, I didn't have any friends, I was a new kid, but I went to the library. And so when I went to the library, it was just this, the smell of the books, it was an older building with really high ce ceilings and, and the light coming through the old windows. I was really disappointed to find out they actually turned this library into like a cafe or or something because it was just such a wonderful old building and I had the same feeling when I was in college they had a really old beautiful library there with a lot of marble and brass it was just really neat but the feeling that I got going into a library was uh, just this feeling of curiosity and wonder and what book am I gonna find and I could get lost for hours in a library Another example of maybe being a really feeling like a kid and being really free is remembering what it was like to play on an old tire swing that my brother and I had. And I'm talking, I was really young then, but I can really conjure up the feeling of what it was like to spin that tire, get, it, get the rope really, really tight, and then hop on and lean back and just spin. And, and the sense of freedom and joy that I felt. Uh, so that's another type of happy moment when I want to tap into that. The other day I had a, a happy moment flashback that literally brought tears to my eyes. It was so poignant. A friend from work had told me about this old general store and it really was. It was the wood floors, the old shelves. Um, I'll put the, the link to the old store, the general store in the comment area below and it was just wonderful it was like taking a step back in time and what it reminded me of were the adventures I used to go on with my grandparents they loved to just go get in the car and drive and they lived in Western Pennsylvania and there was a lot of Amish country but there were also these really neat old-timey stores I remember one that had a water wheel outside and it had several floors that you could climb and it had instruments, you know, farming implements, it had uh, just knickknacks and art, it had seeds, it had, you know, everything that you would expect in the store. It had the jars with the candy sticks. So it was just a really wonderful experience. And when I went into that, I think it's called Carson's um, General Store, when I went in there, I just was like, wow, I was 10 years old again. And there were a bunch of kids there for a school trip with their teacher and they were running in and out buying sodas and some hard candy and I was just like wow I, I really felt like a kid again and that just washed over just wonderful feelings but I have to say my ultimate happy place memory 
is a time that I was riding my horse when I was about 15 or 16 and it was the fall. Fall is one of my favorite seasons and I was riding a trail by myself with my horse and we we just rode into this glade of yellow golden trees. I mean, and I mean it was just the entire glade was just yellow. I don't know if they were aspens. I'd have to, you know, to probably research it and figure out what kind of trees they were. But that really didn't matter because when I think about it, I can just conjure up the images of the wind not blowing quite this hard. But I could feel the breeze. I can smell Misty. She was my horse. I could smell her sweat. I could smell the leather. I could hear the creak of the leather along with the, the trees. I could hear the clopping of her hooves. I could smell that fall air. It was, you know, crisp but had a little bit of the dryness of the of the leaves. And then just to see the amazing yellow color was just so vibrant and golden and alive. It was just a really remarkable moment. And even just talking about these moments with you just, just absolutely puts a smile on my face and just really makes me feel just really relaxed and wonderful. And, and, and like I said, the mind is so powerful that when we relive them, and you may have seen my um, awareness video where I talk about the five senses exercise. That's a really good way to do even your happy place memories is, is think about the five senses and recall all of them. But it just is amazing how the mind can just take you back to that place and it can give you those feelings. So why not leverage that in a positive way and really tap into that and give yourself that wonderful de-stressing brain break. Give yourself that little bit of mindfulness and relaxation and just really allow that peaceful, wonderful feeling to come over you time and time again. So use your positive memories like that and when, when you think about needing to go to your happy place because things aren't going well or something, then do that. Sit down for even just five minutes and, and remember a wonderful time. Was it at the beach? Was it in the mountains? Was it at the ocean? Wherever your happy places are, call them up with, with vivid memory of all five senses and just allow the good feelings to cascade over you. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and this very windy video and talking about happy places because I just really felt it was important after having those two recent aha moments of how good it feels to, to find those kind of situations and, and bring them back to your memory anytime you want to. So take some time after this video when you're in a safe place and you can kind of close your eyes and call up a couple different happy places and really just you just soak them in and, and, and really call them forward and do that anytime you need a little bit of a brain break. So thanks for joining me and you have a wonderful day. Be well.